2020 2019 i did grow 2020 i want to grow some more like hey everybody oh my god it's been such a long time i know i know but it's not my fault i've been trying to do a video for for a while this particular video was supposed to go up like first week of january and it's like a third week of january so i mean i can't even be mad but if you're here you're welcome i'm akosia behini thank you so much for clicking this video it's yet another year and it's not just another year it's a whole new decade oh my god it's crazy but i'm excited to be here and to be here with you guys i'm excited i'm excited to still be creating content oh my god like just just chill so whatever like i'm i'm just really happy to be doing youtube still so if you're new to my channel and if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe to my channel like this video i didn't even say what this video is about but i'm obviously i mean you guys are definitely <laughs> aware of the title because of you guys are aware of what i'm going to be talking about because of the title of the video so that it makes sense but today i just wanted to share with you like a little life update and like a recap of 2019 and basically like my new year resolutions and a few goals that i've set for myself and just like chat i wanted i wanted to actually do like a get ready with me where like i do my makeup and talk but I also wanted to film a, Val a Val's Day inspired makeup look. So I figured I filmed that separately and then use that look to do this video. So if you want to see how I achieved this look, this is my Valentine's Day inspired makeup look. I don't know if it's up by now, but it should definitely go up before Val's Day or around Val's Day or on Val's Day. So on my Instagram, on my YouTube, I don't know where, but it will be somewhere so definitely be on the lookout if you don't follow me on my social media platforms it's akosia benhini <laughs> akosia benhini across all social media platforms without further ado let's get right into the video so today's video like i said i just wanted to share with you like a recap of my previous year and moving forward a few lessons that i've I have so many flyaways a few lessons that i've learned here and there and just like share it with you so 2019 for me i'd say was was like a learning curve for in all honesty 2019 for me i had no option than to grow like i just had to grow up i had to be a mom i had to be a wife you know like 2019 i just had to do a lot of growing up like maturity 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 it came with so many blessings which like, i'm so grateful for 2019 in general if you ask me to like total my year i'd say that i'm grateful i'll say that gratitude is all that i have because gratitude is the only way for it for me so 2019 i did have a lot of low moments 2019 was one of the hardest year for me if i if i'm even trying to like be plain honest 2019 was a very hard year for me and i mean not just for me for me and my family 2019 was hard for us but we pulled through and i'm grateful that's why i'm saying like 2019 i can't be anything but grateful and for me looking back at all the things that i went through in 2019 and all the sorrows and sleepless nights and just like all the stress that i went through in 2019 it was just teaching me and making me grow in 2019 i grew spiritually like i grew in like a lot of ways i grew mentally like i became a grown-up literally in 2019 i had to grow up so much so 2019 generally i don't want to like go so back like i just want us to move forward because obviously the years and the years way gone so like you have to it's a fresh page fresh chapter so you obviously have to move forward and not dwell on 
dwell on the past things that's like happened in the past and all of that just but i just wanted to let you guys know that 2019 was like a really trying year for me i thought that i had it all planned out in 2019 i started a year with so much enthusiasm i had like my goals set set aside i think i had a vision board i i just had like so many plans i had plans for my youtube like to record like i just had plans and it all went left 2019 was like so hard like it all all my plans were just going left like nothing was going as planned like i thought things were actually gonna fall in place this was gonna come after this this was going to happen after this like i just put life happenings in my head and then i knew this was going to happen this time this was going to happen it didn't know a few things did go how i planned but also one big lesson that i picked from 2019 is that you can't have it all figured like what am i saying you can't have it all figured out you can't think you have it all figured out that's one thing that i picked from 2019 i thought that i was like the master of my craft i thought that i knew what i wanted to do i thought that i knew how i wanted my life to go that year because i was that was like my year for me to actually settle down and I did settle down, but I settled down in like the latter part of the year. So beginning of the year for me wasn't, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. Like it wasn't easy at all, but I'm grateful. Like I, like I said before, I'm grateful for everything that 2019 came with. I'm grateful that she went by peacefully. We're still here. We're still strong. We still have, we still have, uh, what's it called? The zeal to create content which is a good thing for me because i've had like a creator's block since 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 like a lot of things are able to like quickly stress me especially when it comes to my youtube and like i'm trying to create content and they're not going how how i have planned it just like really takes a toll on me and it makes me like fall back really hard but also one thing that i learned in 2019 is that you can't mix your emotions with your business and it, it, i mean sometimes your emotions will come in play but you always have to find a way to set your emotions aside from your business because it's a business 2020 for me i want to take charge of myself i want to i don't want to say that i'm gonna do this at this time i'm gonna achieve this at this time no i'm going to take everything one step at a time i'm going to be very slow with my growth and i'm going to actually love the process you know we've got into a process or a time in our lives where we don't like cherish processes if it makes sense like we don't fancy things going through processes we just boom and then i think it's flourishing and then, oh that's all we think about no it's actually very beautiful if something goes through a growing process and that's what i want to go through 2020 2019 i did grow 2020 i want to grow some more like i want to learn new things i'm reading some more i'm doing a lot of research if i hear something that i don't understand i ask like i'm asking more questions i don't just settle with what i'm being served with you know no i find out more i make sure that this is actually something that i need to ingest into my system also as one of like my biggest resolution for this year is to meditate and manifest a lot law of attraction spirituality all of that good stuff is something that i'm really into i actually did start start doing that like being into all of these like readings and i really didn't know jack about those things you know i didn't know that there was actually like a whole side of spirituality that wasn't just religion it was like we we're just conformed to religion and religion because of where we were brought up and stuff but there's so much to there's so much to spirituality there's so much to the world that is not just about religion so this year i intend to like read more meditate a lot more manifest a lot more as part of that every morning when i wake up i try to at least listen to a podcast or listen to something encouraging i listen to affirmations i write words of affirmations in my book i have a journal like i'm journaling now i'm doing so many things that i feel like is putting me in the right space for myself and i'm growing myself like inwardly it's not like just outside 
where it's sometimes a lot of the things need to be done on the inside just so they can show on the outside sometimes when you're good on the inside you don't have to talk so much it will just like you will just be glowing on the outside so this year i want to be working on myself a lot and as part of working on myself a lot i registered me and my husband <laughs> me and a co register for the gym so we're like gym buddies right now i i think today today was like my i'd say officially today was like my fourth day or third day if i'm not mistaken but today was like my third or fourth day and i'm coupling it up with intermittent fasting and keto i've started doing a keto journey which is not easy by the way it's not easy i thought it was something really fancy in the beginning when like <laughs> people do keto and i'm a keto journey and i'm a keto journey and stuff like that i thought it was oh something that's because it's something you eat meat in the process like it's not something where you cut out meat and stuff i thought you eat protein a lot of protein and then cut down carbohydrates so i actually thought it was going to be something nice but it's not it's not but i'm trying to keep up and i'm using an app called total keto which helps me really really much it gives me like shopping list keto shopping list every week it gives me meal plans for every other week like every new week i have a new meal plan that comes my way it gives me recipes of how to make the meals which are actually very simple to make and so far i would say i just want to like be in a good place this year and like also last year one thing that i didn't used to do a lot was keep my room neat <laughs> last year one thing that i didn't used to do a lot was like keep my space clean because there was just so much going on with me and i was in and out of the room every literally every time my husband was in and out of the room literally every time so sometimes we would clean our room just like once a week which wasn't us like it's not us it's never us my husband literally has ocd that's how bad it is so you should know it's not us he'll either clean up or out clean up but it was just a lot for us last year but this year we're better people and as a result every morning i try to lay my bed i didn't used to do that i'm so ashamed <laughs> but now every morning because i can just taking little steps and baby steps into making myself a better person so i like to make my bed though but it's something that i didn't used to do because i just got to a time in my life where i felt too comfortable like i felt comfortable with my surrounding i felt like if i didn't make my bed it didn't make any difference but going back to making my bed like we used to do in secondary school I actually realized that it goes a long way to making you feel good like keeping your surroundings neat every time just gives me like a really sane mind to even film my videos when i'm filming and i feel like my space is like right now is messy but when i have to film a video i have to make sure that my space is clean my brushes are clean like i won't film if my brushes are not clean so this year i am like my biggest resolution is to work on me and i feel like when i work on me and i'm able to to master myself and like put myself in the best place possible it will reflect on other people it will reflect on the people around me if i have a positive energy obviously i'll be able to transfer my energy to wherever i meet so this year i'm just working on like making my energy aa like i'm not i'm not playing like <laughs> also for also for my youtube channel i intend to do i'm like categorizing my videos into like three playlists so i have tutorials i'm bringing back tutorials like basic tutorials beginner friendly tutorials because a lot of you guys ask for it and i still know a lot of people who don't have a grasp on like basics of makeup so i feel like i should still do it plus that has always been the basics of my channel so the basis of my channel so then it's just right that i bring it back so i intend to have a playlist called back to basics where i do makeup tutorials whatever tutorial that i find it helpful that i want to share i'll definitely put it 
in like that category which is back to basic so if you ever want any tutorial like this eyeshadow is going to be under back to back to basics because it's a tutorial i purposely did it for just the eye look so any video that is purposely done for like to teach or tutorial to tutor will be under back to basics and my vlogs will still be under keeping up with ak i came up with keeping up with ak last I think the latter part of last year when i started doing vlogs and i don't have any objections about it yet so i'm going to leave it as that so it's still going to be keeping up with ak and my story times and my get ready with me videos like like this this video that i'm doing right now is supposed to be like a story time or like a chit chat video all of that stuff will be under sip and chat so sip and chat is just basically chit chat get ready with me but i don't want to have them as bare chit chat get ready with me i have to wake him up at nine sorry i don't want to have them as like bare chit chat get ready with me so like i want to so sometimes i'll have like a bottle of wine or like just anything anything i just wanted it to be like a really chill session where i share story time videos with with you guys or like chill and get ready do my makeup and or chill and just play some african playlists you know like just like something that will be a chill vibe like a just just like a chill zone that will be my sip chat get ready with me so that will be a nice sip and chat for now we're going to have these three playlists so if you ever come here and you want my story time videos definitely go on a sip and chat you'll find every story time video there if you want tutorials back to basics will serve you if you want my vlogs keeping up with ak will have you where you want it so that will be the little oomph that we're bringing to the channel and also we're still sticking to the wednesdays and saturdays posting schedule so hopefully that works for you guys i'm not going to pressure myself so much and put up like videos i wanted to i want it but so i'm going to stick to twice a week that at least i know that i can be able to manage twice a week or like once a week so you guys should mess with my content this year also i want to try not try i want to be consistent like i really want to be consistent starting from la the end of last year i wanted to be consistent till my device started messing up sorry still till i had like proper technical issues so this year hopefully i'm able to stay consistent throughout the year and we're looking at getting over 1k over like 1k subscribers because 1k is like the i feel like from 1k up is the only like the, the only way to go is up from there so and i'm working towards getting to 1k subscribers so you guys should definitely mess with my content this year it will mean a lot to me comment on my videos share my videos like my videos turn on the bell button like just mess with my content that's all youtube needs they need you to be on top of the algorithm so the only way that i can do that is if you guys mess with my content so i will do my part i will record the videos i will edit them i'll put them up i just need you guys to watch and subscribe and share and like do all of the good stuff so yeah so i think i've covered everything i just like basically wanted to come on here let you guys know the few goals and changes that we're going to be going through and also just like share with you a little life update starting the gym starting my keto journey and like just chats because i haven't been here in a while so i felt i felt it was like the best thing to do sit down and chat so the only way from here is up guys this year be the best version of yourself one thing that i said to myself this year is that i'm going to be myself and then the world will adjust so this year be the best version of yourself put you first put your happiness first don't argue too much like things that you feel like will stress you things that's negative energy don't let it into your space trust me that thing that thing is so strong like is it just 
messes with your mind like negativity just messes with your mind people just really take it for granted but it does it messes with your mind it, it changes your mood like how somebody's energy affects me is crazy so i'm actually glad that i'm at a point in my life where i'm able to overlook things like like you're trying to come my way with negative energy i just brush it off and smile i'm like oh, i'm not gonna let you do this you know so this year let's like stay away from everything that doesn't put us put us in the right place of mind like let's put ourselves first and if you think of putting you first trust me a lot of things will go well <laughs> for you thank you so much for watching this video it's a new decade give yourself a new chance to take a new shot at new opportunities and even old opportunities that you didn't get to do last year you can still try to do them again this year be the best version of be the best version of yourself <laughs> i've said it several times but trust me be nothing but the best version of yourself i love you guys so much like like i was gonna say love but like comment and share this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that and if you want to see this look i have it up by now or would have it up by valentine's day so definitely check it out and thank you so much follow me on social media though akusia behene across all social media platforms what do you do i'll see you guys in my next video bye